Hello and welcome. We are going to look at uh, VirtualBox. I have a VM, which is a Windows 8.1 system, and it has currently a 25 gigabyte size for the storage, and I want to increase this to 50 gigs. I'm Christian from Vision 6D, and in order to do that, we are going to look now first at my machine, which is here down, and it's called Client 11. And here we have the disk, which is a 25 gigabyte size. So this disk, as you can see, is in the format VDI. You might have VMDK as format. You must know that there is no actual way to directly increase the VMDK size of a disk when the VMDK is the format of the disk. So you will have first to convert to VDI before to proceed. I have a video that explains, and it's quite simple in about three minutes, how from VMDK you move to VDI. That is said, so now what we have to, to do, it's that uh, from here, I will first enlarge this. As you can see here, I find the path of where is my disk located. So I copy it. And here, what I'm going to do is to remove the attachment. Like that, my machine doesn't have any uh, attached disk for the moment. So far, I can say OK. You see here, I have uh, the, the disk. You can check it's really 25 gigabyte in size. For this, we will need the command which is here, which is vboxmanage.exe. That command, you find it in Program, Oracle, VirtualBox. So we are now going to open a command window. I have now opened the command window and we see that I have moved to Programs, I mean C, Programs, Oracle, VirtualBox. And the command that I'm going to use is vboxmanage. This is the Swiss knife for uh, virtual box. I'm going to key in the option to modify the medium. And then I have to say which file has to be modified, meaning the storage file. For this, I will just paste in what I copied before. I will put quotes around it. And I will in the end say that I need to resize to 50,000 megabytes, which make 50 gigabytes. So let's see now what's going to happen. So it's starting. So now it's finished. So we are going to, to see. We are going to move to the files to see what went on. Let's now go and see uh, what happened. We are going to, to attach the file storage to that uh, client 11. We add the hard disk. Of course, it's an existing one. And you see here that it's the cloned one that we are going to add. So we are going to look the size of that device. And as you can see, it has moved to more or less 50 gigabytes. The configuration I have chosen is dynamically allocated, which means that the real size on disk, for example, actually is just about 25 gigs. The more data will be stored, the larger this will go. It will have a maximum size of those 48, more or less 50 gigabytes. Now that this has been done, we can say OK. And we are going to check to restart the machine. The machine is now up. We are going to log into that machine. We are now into the machine and we are going to look at the size of the disk. We go here down to the storage disk management. We see here that um, we have our disk, which is here. And you see the definition of that disk is now 50 gigabytes. You see here the start 
partition and a first C partition here with still 25 gigabytes more or less. And you see here the 25 gigabytes more or less which are unallocated. And what we are going to do is now to extend the partition. By this we say here extend volume. So here we just say next. It proposes us to take all the available space. It's what we are going to do by saying just next, finish. And now you see that we have the full extended partition. With that, we have now a VM which is up that we have done in the window environment. With that, we could see how to increase the size of an NTFS volume. All what is left to me is to wish you a good time. If you liked your samba, you can subscribe to my channel. And see you soon. Bye.